Hello, in this video, we're going to see how to solve the game matrix of the form 3 cross 2. So this is the game of the form M cross 2. So again, just like the previous video, we have to solve this using graphical method, the graphical technique. You can check for the saddle point and the dominance method. You will see that it doesn't work here. So we jump to the graphical technique. So we start by making a table that looks like that. Now in this game, player B has two strategies, B1 and B2, and player A has three strategies, A1, A2, A3. So in the table, first we find the expected payoffs for player B now, because that one has only two strategies. You always find the pay expected payoffs for the player who has only two strategies first. So what we say is, let these be A's strategies, which is A1, A2, A3. And over here, we calculate these expected payoffs. So what we say is, let Q1 be the probability that player B chooses B1, strategy B1. Similarly, let Q2 be the probability that player B chooses B2. Okay, and from the matrix here, we find the expected payoff. So if player A chooses A1, B's expected payoff is five times Q1 plus eight times Q2. Similarly, if player A chooses A2, B's expected payoff is six times Q1 plus five times Q2 and so on. So we write that down here. So we say the first expected payoff is five times Q1 plus eight times Q2. And remember, Q1 plus Q2 is always equal to 1. So Q2 will be 1 minus Q1. So in place of Q1, you put 1 minus Q1. So when you simplify, you get 5Q1 plus 8 minus 8Q1, which will be negative 3Q1 plus eight. Okay, similarly, we get six Q1 plus five Q2. In place of Q2, we write one minus Q1. We get six Q1 plus five, one minus Q1, which makes it six Q1 plus five minus five Q1, that makes it Q1 plus five. That's your first equation. This is your second equation, the third equation. Will be, if you look in the matrix, it'll be five Q1 plus seven Q2. That makes it, in place of Q1, you plug in one minus, in place of Q2, you plug in one minus Q1, you get five Q1 plus seven, one minus Q1. So that makes it five Q1 plus seven minus seven Q1. That makes it negative two Q1 plus seven. So these are your three equations, three Q, Negative three Q one plus eight Q 
plus 5 and negative q1 plus 7. Okay, so what we do now is we graph these three equations and then find the intersection point for it. So I'm just going to delete this part. And write down the three equations here. Negative 3q1 plus 8, q1 plus 5, and negative q1 plus 7. And we got off these things. Should be a straight line between q1 equals 0 and q1 equals 1. The probabilities will always be between 0 and 1. So in place of Q1, you plug in 0, you get 8, somewhere up here. And in place of Q1, you plug in 1, you get 8 minus 3, 5. Let's see, somewhere here. You can connect the dots. So the next line, this is your A1, this is your A2. A3. This is A1. Okay, in place of Q1, plug in 0, you get 5. And in place of Q1, you plug in 1, you get 6. Somewhere here. Connect the two dots. And in the next one, you get 7. When you plug in 0, and you get 5. So in place of Q1, you plug in 0, you get 7. And in place of Q1, you plug in 1, you get 5. So hopefully I get this correct. Or you can use a proper graph paper to connect the dots. So you should go. Something like that. Okay, because it's below 8, so it should go like that. And now remember, we're finding the expected payoffs for player B. And pay, player B does a minimax. Minimax for player B. So what you do is, you first you find the maximum points. And then take the minimum of that. So in this lines here, the maximum points belong here. You can verify this by drawing a proper graph, but this is what I'm guessing here. The maximum points belong here. So first you take the maximum and then take the minimum of that, which is here. So this point here will be your minimax. Okay, this was A2 and this is A3. Okay, so we need to find the intersection point of lines A1 and A2 to get the intersection points. So how do we do that? We make the two equal to each other and find the intersection points. So you say let negative 3q plus 1 equals q1 plus 5. So when we solve this, we get Q1, right? How much do we get? 4Q1 equals 3. So that implies that Q1 is 3 fourths, which is 75%. Okay, and similarly, since Q1 plus Q2 is equal to 1, Q2 will be 1 fourth, which is 25%. Okay, and to find the value of the game, in place of Q1, you put 0.75. So the value of the game in this case will be 5.75. So again, in this game, player A wins the game because it's a positive number. So 
So then if you have looked at the previous video, take a look at that first and then look at, take a look at this one. Similarly, you find the expected payoffs or the mixed strategies for player A. Now you can see that A1 and A2 are the only one contributing here. So A3 will be zero or the probability for A3 will be zero. So what you can do is take a look at the previous video and see how do you find the strategies or the probability of the strategies of the other player and solve the problem. The only thing to note is you don't have to graph for the next player and the value of the game should be the same. Then you are doing it correctly. If any questions, you can put it below in the comments.